In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for the month of March. So what's really funny is that uh, February, we had all kinds of stuff and February is a shorter month. March is a longer month and we, we did really don't have a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. And a perfect example of that is there's no dislikes. There's nothing that we hated enough to put in this video. Yeah, I mean, there were things we didn't, we wouldn't buy again. Of course, again, there's but... lots, of, there's tons of things we would never buy again. Yeah. But to hate something enough to say, oh my gosh, don't ever buy that, then we, you yeah, know. Spit it out. <laughs> yeah, spit it out, it's terrible. We, it did not make yeah. it this month. So yeah. I think that's a good thing. Although yeah. some people watch this video just to hear all the dislikes. So, yeah, so this year we really don't have any. Sorry like, to disappoint really on Really bad ones. Uh, but we had a lot of things that we loved. Mm -hmm. So Rachel sent us some things from Sweet G's, uh, Sweet G's Bakery, uh, Rachel in Pennsylvania. Quite she sent, uh, yes, she sent us drinking pretzels. These are the smoked cheddar bacon ranch, mm -hmm. I like and those a lot. then the drinking balls. These are the cheesy ranch. Yeah. I think I like the pretzels better. She also sent us the uh, caramel puffs. Those were good. And the milk chocolate peanut butter pretzel nuggets. Yeah, I think you like those better than me. So, yes. So, all of those, uh, Rachel sent us, and we mm -hmm. really liked them. Yeah, we enjoyed them after the video. <laughs> yeah, very much. Um, yeah, they were really, really good. Then, uh, we did a review on these Lemur Lamar Belgian chocolates. We these, don't know how to say it. These are the Hip Hip Hop these were uh, filled Belgian chocolates. They had a lamb with hazelnut cream. They had a chicken with crunchy hazelnut cream and an egg with creme brulee. And we found this, these at uh, World Market and they're, they're out for Easter. And it was the smoothest, mm, creamiest nice. chocolate. Yes, it was just absolutely wonderful. Uh, product of Belgium. Uh, but I loved those for a nice, it was a more expensive Easter mm -hmm. chocolate, but very luxurious and nice. Yeah, nothing for your five-year-old. I don't think so. Some, <laughs> you you know, money. I guess if you've got a lot of money to spend, um, but most of the time kids don't care. Um, do you want any mine or? Uh, do one of yours. All right, this is the, both of these. Uh, these are the Sweet Collection by Make and Mold. These are the wafers, like the little melting chocolate wafers. Uh, this figure is birthday cake and the salted caramel. Um, I ate all the birthday cake. They're all done. I still have some salted caramel in there. And um, now that since we've done the video, uh, I said during the video, I didn't think this one is quite as salty. Now that I've went back and eaten them again, they, they have plenty of salt. There's plenty of salt there. So you don't, no need, no need to worry about it missing salt because there's plenty there. And the birthday cake were good. Uh, they do tend to be a little strong when you eat more than a few of them. Mm -hmm. So um, just know that you can't eat a ton of them, but they were really good. Okay, well, you know what? Um, oh, since, you have some too. Since Kevin showed you those, I'll show you these. These are the Meltums, and mm -hmm. the Meltums. It's a different brand. Um, yeah, the Meltums, we have the marshmallow and the peppermint. I absolutely love the peppermint, and I was surprised that we can even get that. Um, but we found it at Joanne's Fabric. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's called Joanne's Fabric anymore. I think Joanne. it's just Joanne's. I think they, they sell some kind of them. like Burlington Coat Factory has dropped the Coat, Coat Factory. Factory and now they're just called Burlington. And so I think it's just called Joanne's, but it'll always be Joanne's Fabrics to me. Uh, but these are the same thing Kevin was just telling you about. And if you watch any of these videos we do, we tell you that you're really missing out. If you don't go over in Walmart, go over to that cake decorating section. And this is so much cheaper than buying a bag of candy in the it's candy so sweet. And they're little wafers. They're like little buttons. And you can just lay it on your tongue and they're super, super sweet. Just mm -hmm. make sure that you buy the ones that say flavored. So this one says flavored. Now this doesn't say flavored, but it does say peppermint. Yeah. So you kind of assume it's peppermint, yeah. but they have them in like regular colors. Yeah, if they just say a color, then it's not flavored. Right, it's so make green sure. green or blue or whatever. Right, make sure that yours doesn't just say yellow, make sure it says lemon. Right. Make sure it doesn't just say green, make sure it says key lime. 
stuff sure like that. Right. So yeah, so look for that. But these are terrific. Yeah, they're a nice snack. I'll, I'll go in, in the kitchen and grab me like eight or 10 of them and line them up in front of my computer and just eat them one at a time. It's hilarious. Yeah. It's very funny watching how okay. many things. It's something you can drag out for a while. Um, this one is the uh, My Big Fat Cookie. This bigger one was the Brownie Remix. And they sent that to us. The yeah. company sent us Thank a bunch of Thank you very much, because it was really good. Yes. <laughs> and and I, honestly, they were all really good. It was just this was the one we picked for yes. favorite. And we like how they're packaged. We mm -hmm. like how they're uh, they're nicely packaged um, and they're sealed. They had the calories on there. They had the ingredients. And yeah, that was very good. nice. And when they sent them to me in the mail, they uh, they were nicely boxed. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, we greatly appreciate yeah, that's, that. Just, it's a good brand to, to order. They're from New York. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Gatto. Gatto. So this is a ghetto. Uh, this is the um, Ripple Swiss Roll, a light golden sponge filled with delicious raspberry jam and van a vanilla flavored cream. It was a nice roll. It was a really nice roll. It was a giant roll. Um, <laughs> that we found that this long. at Jungle Gems International mm -hmm. Market. It, it fit in that box. It filled that box up. That's, yes. That's how big it was. Um, and it was just absolutely, it's made at, in Dublin, Ireland. Um, and it uh, it was was wonderful. It was terrific. We tried this along with some Cadbury uh, sweets, and uh, this came out on top. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Better than the Cadbury. Yeah, the Cadbury's weren't actually all that great. Well, <laughs> compared I to liked that. them, but yeah, but Com this stood out. Yeah, yeah, compared to that, they weren't very good. Okay. Uh, you don't you don't have that much more. That Andes is in the lid. If you want to show it, I wrote the the name up because they don't put the name on. Yeah, the, they just kind of scribble it on the thing. Yeah, uh, this was the cooker cookie. Cookie butter crunch made with Biscoff from uh, Andy's frozen custard. Uh, really good flavor. It was excellent. Uh, had a good amount of mix-ins. Our only problems with Andy's is they don't sell a lot of these size containers in every flavor. Yes. So you have a very limited selection that you can actually buy and take home like this. Right. Um, you'd have to otherwise get it into a cup or a bowl or a cone right. or something like that. And take we it. feel like if we go in and say we want that in a cup, they should say okay, and they or a should pint or, or whatever. whatever they should do it. Yeah. They don't do that. That's how Brewster's done. Uh, yeah, they they if it's not actually already prepared and yeah. in the cooler, yeah, like they it. don't do it. Yeah. But that's my that, only complaint about it, but it was a good flavor. That Lotus Biscoff, they should sell that all the time. Mm -hmm. it, it said on their really, website really it was a limited flavor. It should not have been limited. No, it, there's no reason for it to be limited. No, because um, if you like cookie butter, it's the stuff, let me tell you. Uh, these are the Jelly Belly Chews, the taffy candy, and they, they look like this. They look like uh, little packages. Look like uh, airheads or something like that in, in this, and we got these at Home Goods. No, uh, we, home, yeah, yeah home we bought them at Home Goods for three dollars. But some people told me they saw them at Walmart in the candy aisle. Never seen them before here. Yeah. Not around here at least. Yeah, have we? I've never seen these in the candy aisle. Okay. Before. Be, yeah. Well, our Kevin was good. shocked at his favorite flavor. Do you remember what your favorite flavor ended up being? Uh, was it the berry? The no. blueberry blue, not the popcorn. Was it the? It was the popcorn because it didn't taste like popcorn. That's right. Yeah, you it was like a. It. Was yes. it a butterscotch kind of flavor? I can't remember. Just butter. To I me, it was just butter. Butter. That's it was what it was. Just butter. But it was sweet butter. Uh huh. Yeah. It was a very incredibly sweet yeah. butter. If it had tasted like the popcorn, I probably wouldn't have liked mm -hmm. it as much. But but it was just sweet butter, and mm -hmm. it, it is phenomenal. Yeah. And they were all good though. We would both buy a whole bag of just the popcorn. Yeah. But but I honestly I didn't have a problem with any of them. They were all no, really good. They were yeah, they were all very good. Yeah. Easy so if you see eat. these and you never tried them before, try them out. Okay, I have this package. <laughs> I'm, package. This this package. I've said they need to work on their packaging. This company is out of Ohio. I think it's like Baltic, Ohio. Uh, yes, Baltic, Ohio. It's called Lil Turtles. L I L Lil Turtles. Asthma in Ohio sells these in her shop. So. Um, you can get these from asthma. She'll, she'll mail them to you. Of course, you got to pay her for them, but, but I mean, of course. Uh, but this is the Caramel Pecan Bar, and we found them at Jungle Gems International Market, which mm -hmm. is in Ohio, but asthma has also sent us, to, sent us some from Ohio. Um, terrific. Excellent quality. Good, good brand. The chocolate is delicious. This is better. Uh, the chocolate, we like this more than some of our... Kentucky branded chocolate chocolates places, yeah. places, yes. 
and uh, so just candy places. Whatever yes, you want. really, really nice quality. Yeah, it's a good. It's a really good brand. Everything they have is is really good. Honestly, we, I don't think we've ever had anything that was bad. No, that, that I can think of. Just some least. that we prefer more than others. Yeah, but nothing's yeah, ever. Yeah, nothing's been bad. But we've had some things from our local chocolate place. It's like yes. I would never buy that again. Ex yes. Yeah. Yes. Definitely felt that way. No, I've never felt that way about no, little no, turtles. No, never felt that way. No. Okay, I've got three more things. Uh, these are combos. These are the nacho cheese baked pretzels. I love a good combo. Uh, combos anyway. I like the pretzel. I like the stuffing. I, I've always liked them anyway. This was really, really I good. I love those nacho cheese. Yeah, the nacho cheese was like, a really nice flavor. If I were to pick a flavor that's available right now, because they've had some that aren't available like anymore. Special. Yeah, they've had some that aren't available anymore. But this, to pick one that's available right now, that those would be the ones I would pick. Mm. I, I love good. them. And some of you tell me you hadn't had them in a long time. I would try yeah, those. Try them out, or try a couple of them that you've never that you've never tried before. They 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 bring you back to when you used to eat them a long time ago. They do for me at least because yeah. I used to love the, the just the cheese mm -hmm. with uh, with the pretzels, and they're really good. Okay, now this is the Betty Crocker Reese's Lava Cake Mix. Uh, we both uh, enjoyed this very mm -hmm. much. It is not our favorite Reese's mix that's out right now, but it's it's my second favorite that's right. out. Right, it was right really now. good. So my first favorite would be the bars, yeah. the bar mix. And we said you could actually just leave the chocolate off the top. You could, and just see the <laughs> peanut butter. Because you don't get much of it anyway. It didn't really, really make much difference. Right, so it is good with the chocolate, but yeah, you really don't need it. But the bar mix, if I only had money to buy one, it would be that bar yeah, mix. That's really good. But then this would be good the second. Yeah. Yes, I thought this was wonderful. And it had the way that we baked it, it had an ooey gooey uh, center. Well, it should it, have, because it should. Bag. But ours, I think, was I extra. even extra. <laughs> it was extra undone. <laughs> yeah, some people would not have been into that, no. but I was totally into that. Yeah. It was um, good. So, yeah, that's worth it. Can we do one? Okay, so these are, we, we, we both love these. We both love these. Um, we can both hold these up. These are the Peps Draft House Originals. Uh, this is the double double pepperoni, the five meat mash. And this is the tap room double. Yeah, so these are excellent, excellent pizzas just overall. And let me point out, we tried three. All three are in favorites. That is saying a lot. Yeah. Uh, that all three that we tried are in favorites. Let me just say this too. It absolutely kills me that some of you send me pictures because you yeah, taunting they have me more. Um, and you get all the flavors. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to be trying these because yeah. there's a taco that I'm just dying. I, I want it to make it here so bad. We don't have any um, and, and it's hard to even find them. And when we here. went to Jungle Gems, I was really hoping they that they some. would have these. They didn't have any of them. Mm -hmm. We have only seen this brand at Walmart. And if you get online, you can do a search uh, f to see which Walmart locations have them. So our local Walmart, they had them and then they were gone. Like like the next day they were gone. Um, we've never seen them in Lexington. Mm -hmm. We had to drive to Georgetown. Georgetown, yeah. Yeah, we got, it seems like we got one of these here. Yeah, that and the other one two day. in Georgetown. And then the other two we had to drive yeah, to Georgetown to did. get. Um, it, this is a terrific brand. This mm -hmm. Pep's Draft House, like I said. Good sauce, good cheese. The che you can actually taste cheese. And I say in almost all my videos, I said, I no, very rarely do I ever taste the cheese. That's strong. And that this actually had yes. a good cheese flavor. Yes. So it's, that says something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it wasn't expensive either. No. I don't remember right off how much. No, I wouldn't it, want to quote how much, but they weren't bad. No, it wasn't bad. But for all three of them to be in here, I really hope they... Uh, send more to Kentucky so that we can try more flavors. I know. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll slowly get here. And since you showed those pizzas, I do have another pizza to show you. We've um, eaten a lot of pizzas lately, so. So this is the Rosetti's. This is authentic Chicago pizza. This is the pepperoni. Now, this sauce on these pizzas is very different from the sauce on the peps. Mm -hmm. This is a sweet sauce. It's, it's just, it's a sweeter sauce. But, um, the put it this way we have we have reviewed we've already reviewed more of these so you might be seeing this brand again next month when other videos start rolling out uh because we did like this one but 
there will be another one that comes out. I can just, I'll go ahead and give that spoiler that there's one, another one that we really, really like too. Uh, but just the pepperoni. Uh, we bought these at Jungle Gems. Mm -hmm. We don't have these in our area. Mm -hmm. do, they do not That's sell all. them at any of the stores in our area. No. Go ahead and do one more. Um, I'll have one more thing. Well, I have two more. I have the Ben & Jerry's PB S'more. Uh, this is toasted marshmallow ice cream with peanut butter cups, graham cracker pieces, and marshmallow swirls. Mm -hmm. There was absolutely nothing to, to not like in that. Mm -hmm. No, well, unless you don't like peanut butter and chocolate or ice cream. Right. Some of the Ben & Jerry's <laughs> that they come out with, I'm like... Yeah. Oh, you know, I could never have it again. There was another one we reviewed after this. The, marshmallow the Sky. Marshmallow, marshmallow sky. sky. It was okay. It was fun to try once, but I don't ever have it, to have it again. It wasn't much of anything, honestly. This is one I would get all the yeah, time. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. And then the last thing I you have. Do, yeah, let me do mine. The last thing I have, um, I love this. Kevin loves this. It was very good. This is the monster. They need to make that with that and all that caffeine in it and the diet, and I would drink them. <laughs> I know. It has to be caffeine free and it needs to be diet. Oh, because, or just regular caffeine. I don't care about caffeine as long as it's not over caffeine. Right. Yeah. That, yeah, I said that wrong because we drink caffeine all the time. Yeah, yeah we just don't want it over caffeinated. Yeah. We don't need the energy drinks. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have enough energy as it is, don't I? <laughs> um, but this is the Rio Punch. It's terrific. Yeah. It is our favorite is. monster. This is like the best monster I've ever had. Uh, I, like Kevin said, if it was zero calorie, oh, um, yeah. I could Real drink far. it all yeah. the time. If I you regular drink monster it. and you don't care about the calories and stuff, you should try because it's really, really and good. And honestly, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad as far as calories go. It is only 140 calories. Yeah, but there's so many energy drinks out there that are like zero or five or 10. This one does have quite yes. a bit more calories. But that, I'm thinking so. if you're a person who you're already drinking like full calorie Mountain Dew or Coke right. or something like that, you're already drinking like 280 calories or something. So 140 calories is nothing for you. So you need to try this. Yeah, it's but, really good. Because yeah, it, it's delicious. Yeah, unless you can't handle the caffeine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's terrific. Yeah. And these, these were the... Here you go. We both like these. Uh, these are called Shameless Snacks. Mm -hmm. And where did we buy these at? Jungle Gems? Jungle Gems, okay. They That's were the right. first thing. One of the first things we saw. They were the first thing yeah. in my buggy at Jungle Gems. Yeah, because yeah, they were, were different. There were eight varieties, and we tried all eight. Yeah. And honestly, when I bought them, I thought... These are going to stink. I, yeah, I thought these aren't going to be anything. Yeah. And we love them. Yeah, love the, like them. this bag, the whole bag was only 70 calories for these. I know. This yeah. is only 70 calories. This is the Green Apple Blast. Which was, Tammy actually liked the Green Apple too. Oh, I surprising. like them all. I um, like them all. This is the peach. And then I had the uh, red raspberry and then the super wild worms, mm -hmm. which were really only two flavors. But still, that, the worms were actually the last ones I ate. And it was surprising to me is the peach was like one of my favorite. The only downfall is the price. They're like $3 yeah, they're really a bag. Yeah, and so you're going to eat a whole bag. You will definitely eat the whole bag because the whole bag's only 70 calories. And while, just in you case know. you're wondering, there were no ill side effects from these. You know, people sometimes, always say that. Some, sometimes you can eat gummy snacks and sometimes they have some side effects. There were no, no. I, I did not suffer from any side no, effects. No, <laughs> no. Except from wanting another bag. That was the only side effect I had. I wanted more. Not a bad side <laughs> effect. More. Yeah, not a bad side effect. <laughs> These are really nice though because they're so low calorie, like 70 calories per bag. You can just go out and eat that for your snack at night instead of a candy bar or whatever and they last a while because they're... They're gummy, so they're yes. kind, of, kind of like fruit snacky kind of texture more than anything. And you can kind of um, chew on that for a little while and then get another one, and it just takes you a little while. If they were more affordable, yeah. we would get them all the time. Yeah, I would literally buy a box of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I lied to you about something. We do have a hate. We don't have as a couple. We I don't guess. have a couple. We don't have a hate from this channel. That's right. But Kevin has a channel, all of his own, called Lunchtime Review, and he reviews frozen meals or shelf-stable meals. Sandwiches. Four days a week, and then one day a week he goes out to eat. So. I do have a hate. He me. has a hate. Yep. Uh, this one this. is the uh, Caesar's Kitchen. They're gluten-free, which makes no difference, but well, it might make a difference. These are the stuffed shells. Um, I gave it a two, and a two's pretty bad. Two out of five. 
Um, two means I would, I, it wasn't bad enough to where I wanted to spit it out of my mouth, but I was not going to eat any more of it. I think I ended up throwing it away <laughs> after I And it was probably, it. it was four forty nine. dollars 4 dollars for Target. It. Don't buy it. Um, it's just not worth it. Um, the pasta was really, really mushy, and that's what I'm saying. The gluten-free might have had something to do with that. Right. Although I've had gluten-free pasta that was not mushy, so I don't know why this particular one was really, really squishy. Um, not as bad as Chef Boyardee but still pretty bad. Um, the, it was bitter, had a bitter aftertaste. I'm assuming it's the seasonings and stuff they use in their sauce. And the, really the sauce and the, the filling really didn't have much flavor beyond bitter. So you got mushy, bitter, and that's all you got. <laughs> so I would not recommend these because they were not very good. I think I tried other ones that, that, of these that were okay, mm -hmm. but, but not this one. Right. Yeah. So that one's, yeah, you can skip it. And then this brand's always a stellar brand. I have not found a bad Raina yet. Now, some of them are expensive. I probably wouldn't buy them again just because they're so expensive. Or maybe it wasn't for me. But they're not bad. None mm -hmm. of them are bad. Uh, this one is the uh, meat lasagna. Uh, they come in these plastic bags. They're usually refrigerated. And you take them out. <coughs> Sorry. You take them out of the bag. And you put them in the microwave. Or I think you can put them in the oven, too. Uh, but I gave this one a four and a half. Um, out of five and it was just really really good we bought it at walmart um the flavors were really good on there the textures are really good it has to hit on all those before i'll give it a four and a half or five mm. that has good textures good flavors um rich it has to be more than just blah or average flavors it has to be really good flavors this one's one to try if you like a lasagna and these, if you're wondering, where do you find those? Uh, they're they're in like like the, the deli, kind of close yeah, to the deli area. Around the deli, yeah. yeah. So so look around the, the the deli area. Kind of where they sell the pizzas and the um, the take and bake take and bake that's what stuff. People call yeah, them take and bake that, that's kind of the area they have those. They're not in the section where the like the pulled pork and the roast beef and all, they're not yeah. in that section. That's more like towards the meat section. Right. This is more towards the deli section. Right. I don't know why. So I told you Kevin goes out to eat once a week. So in March we had four Thursdays. And the, I usually forget. The videos are posted on Thursdays. So you had Fazoli's four cheese stuffed shells. Yum. You had Little Caesars Pizza. You had the three cheese crazy puffs and the pepperoni crazy puffs. Oh yeah, those were like the little things the stuffed little, in a muffin cup. Yeah. Looking things. And you also had the Twix cookie dough brownie and the M&M's cookie dough brownie. Yep. And then at uh, Taco Bell, you had the Cantina chicken burrito, Cantina chicken quesadilla, and Cantina chicken ball yeah it's a whole cantina chicken thing is the, what they've got going on and then you lastly you had the arby's king's hawaiian brown sugar bacon turkey sandwich and the king's hawaiian brown sugar bacon blt sandwich mm -hmm. so i always like to know which he liked the most which um, he liked the least which he would get again i, I didn't mind the flat the, the fazoli's was good um it, it wasn't bad at all it's just probably not something i'd go get again all the time unless i was already going to fazoli's mm -hmm. uh, for someone else that i might order it but i probably wouldn't honestly there's other things i would probably order beyond that it was good it just wasn't something i would go back for mm -hmm. um the little caesar's things are really really good the little muffin they, I, they look like little bottom of the muffin tins. Well, I keep saying that. They, they kind of look like yeah, that. Yeah, they do. Um, they're a lot different than the uh, Papa John's uh, papitas or whatever. The little bites, whatever they are, uh, Papa John's. Right. They're a lot different. I actually like these better than the Papa John's versions. You do. The Papa John's is kind of like little strombolis almost. They're little stuffed things. I, these were just easier to eat. And I think okay. you got more cheese and stuff on these, whereas those were filled with stuff but they didn't have much cheese on them so i actually like these better from little caesars um the the cookie dough things they were okay they weren't i, I just assume you a little debbie than those i mean really they they're they were they were okay but you know what i don't really like little debbie's brownies either if you think about it i don't it. like a so debbie so this brownie. is cookie dough mm -hmm. i know but it's kind of the same kind of texture mm -hmm. um so they were they were they were not as great but the the pizza things are really good um all the chicken things were good i said in the video that the quesadilla is really from taco bell yeah the taco bell chicken ones uh cantina chicken the quesadilla is really not worth much of the money you're you're paying almost the same price and you don't get much of anything in it it's very very thin 
Um, the bowl was good, but you didn't get a lot of chicken with it. The best deal is the burrito because you got it's big and you get a lot of food. And it was I think the burrito was one of the cheaper ones of the three. So get the burrito. It was really good. And then the Arby's King's Hawaiian, uh, the brown sugar BLT was literally a BLT on a bun. Um, it was good, but I would definitely get the chicken sandwich over the BLT just because it had, I mean, not chicken, turkey. I was going to say. Um, the turkey sandwich. Turkey. I would get the turkey sandwich over the BLT because it has, it's just more, and it was only like 20 cents more. So why so not? So you like turkey over. I like the turkey sandwich with the bacon on it more so than I like the brown sugar BLT. Right. Because the other one was just bacon and a bun and less and you like more meat and mayonnaise and the other one was a lot of turkey. Okay. The only thing I said during that that review, if you watched it, was the turkey sandwich used a um, a Dijon mustard. Okay. And the Dijon mustard was so strong you couldn't hardly taste the bacon. It was so so strong. Really. Yeah, it was almost like almost like horseradish. It was so strong. Oh, and you're sure it, they don't put Arby's horsey? No, sauce it's a on Dijon oh, okay. mustard. Yeah. So if you could ask for it without that. Um, it'd probably be better. And maybe put your own. Yeah, put put horsey sauce on there if you want something strong. Truthfully, after I did their video, uh, you, if you watched the video, I asked for Arby's and horsey sauce. I didn't end up using the horsey sauce at all. But the Arby's sauce, I squirted it all over that turkey sandwich and loved it. It was like, it was awesome. It was with the Arby's sauce. I love Arby's sauce anyway. And so out of those four. Uh -huh. What's your favorite? Which one would I go back? Um, Sounds like that Arby's was pretty good. And the burrito from Taco Bell. No, honestly, I think I'd probably get, um, mm, wow. The Little Caesars was awfully good too, though. That's good to know that you like those that much. Yeah, they I mean, were good. And cool. you got quite a bit of food too. Because usually Little Caesars is pretty cheap. Yeah. You know? I don't remember the price. We didn't write them down. Uh, I'd probably go back and get the Arby's uh, turkey sandwich. Not because, of, but unfortunately not because it's the brown sugar bacon, which is the big deal. Right. That's not the reason I would go get it because you couldn't hardly taste that. Right. Um, it was, I like the flavor of the sandwich itself. And the bacon may have added a little bit to it, but not a lot. So that would be my first pick. And then probably Little Caesars would be number two, but it's really right there with each other. Right. So, yeah, they were really I good. I noticed you didn't mention Fazoli's. Fazoli's is, is a give or take. You know, it was, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It just was, you know, it's pasta and cheese. I mean, it's whatever. Right, yeah. yeah. Then they didn't have meat stuffed ones. So they didn't have a, uh, um, like an Italian sausage stuffed shell. If they had that, I may have even bumped it up higher. But yeah. it was just cheese and it's good, but it wasn't, it wasn't. Like exciting or anything. Because I make stuffed shells. I have a recipe on yeah, the channel of stuffed and shells. Stuff. And I absolutely love it. Yeah, she um, would have it every weekend if, if, we, I, if would. I would make it for her. <laughs> I, I've made You've it You've made it many times. times. Yeah. The only thing he doesn't like about it is it's time consuming to stuff those shells. And it, <laughs> you have to stuff, but I've made it the past few times. Yeah, and it's, it's good. Like, it's like, I want it. I would so just assume, I would just assume have like baked spaghetti. Nope, I want. I like. Oh, the I like shells. the baked spaghetti. I just, I love them so much, and with that sausage, it's such a great flavor. Yeah. So I can understand. But see, you can mix sausage in with your stuff with your baked spaghetti. No, I can understand you missing the meat though in that <laughs> yeah. version. Yeah, yeah. If you like just cheese, it was really good though. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not checked out Kevin's Lunchtime Review Channel, please check it out. We would greatly appreciate it. If you if you haven't subscribed to me, please of course subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed to lunchtime review uh please subscribe to kevin he he doesn't put out as many videos as me so it's not, not every day but it's once a day it's 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 five days a week yeah. so you're not getting any video on saturday or sunday it's just monday through friday and then on thursday you get that uh the out to eat, out to eat video but i'm just saying i put out like four or five videos a day Whereas Kevin, if you subscribe to him, he's not going to bug you as much as right. I'll bug you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you at the end of April.